Can you see me now? <laughs> I am. Um, I live in London now, and uh, as soon as I went over there, I experienced a very subtle form of racial stereotyping. I went to my local job centre. All they could offer me was my own television chat show. <laughs> a man has his dignity. <laughs> Fortunately, I'm a trained musician, so I took my triangle out busking. I chose a five-movement classical piece. With the triangle, you don't actually have any choice in the matter. But the two-hour pitch was up before it got to my note. <laughs> I, I tried at one stage switching to jazz, but the triangle is not a jazz instrument. There's nowhere to put the cigarette. <laughs> I've since, however, discovered that Irish people can do very well in London if they follow three very basic rules. Smile. Talk crap. Don't leave your suitcase on the tube. <laughs> a friend of mine actually did this recently. He didn't do it recently. He did it 15 years ago. They let him out recently. <laughs> and they said, sorry, wrong suitcase. <laughs> actually, oh, there's a few slow reading Belgians there finishing the letter. That's not true. They didn't say sorry. Now, I like, um, I've been clapped there. That's a piece of political material. And uh, I like balance on my act. My ink, uh, sorry, typing error. <laughs> my, my mother is uh, English, and she lives in, in Dublin. She lives in Clontarf at the moment. And on the side wall of our house, in very large letters, is written, Brit out. I don't think she's ever forgiven me for that. <laughs> <laughs>